Hello there and welcome back. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is quite possibly the flagship Linux operating system, at least for Windows users. This is the latest Ubuntu Mate 1710. Running this with a full install test, I'm using simple screen recorder to record the desktop. About the only thing bad with this is that this is only supported for nine months, not enough time. If you're looking for long-term support, look for LTS releases. If you are new to the world of Linux, but Ubuntu Mate continues to be my favorite, my Linux Gold Standard, my flagship operating system, especially for Windows users. All right, so I've talked about this in the past. I don't want to repeat myself, so we'll go through this rather quickly. You can get more information through the Ubuntu Mate blog. Some features here, and we'll look at some features quickly, but some changes. I'll have a link for this below in the show notes. One of my favorite features is the ability to add little applets, little shortcuts to the top panel. Right click on the panel. Let's try, let's see, MON for system monitor. Add, and just left click. And you have a quick shortcut for the system monitor, about uh, one gig of RAM usage with a recorder, not too bad. Let's go to, now this is the um, Mutiny panel layout. I'll show you how to change that layout here in a second. But you have this Unity bar to the left, the panel similar somewhat to the, uh, well, to the Ubuntu Unity days. They've switched to GNOME 3, which is, in my opinion, not for beginners. If we click this icon here, left click, this will bring, uh, bring up the brisk menu, a terrific menu. Let's go to type in TWE. And let's try changing this. Go to panel. We were at Mutiny. My other favorite one would be, let's try Pantheon. Let's see if it'll work. I did notice a few crashes um, while changing the panel layout, but this one seems to work. And I just, I just left this panel to the right. You can right click, preferences, and we can put it at the bottom if you want to. And it's that simple. A quick plank dock. Let's go to the file manager. And this is self-explanatory here. Again, if you are coming from a Windows environment, this should not be a problem. Of course, the top panel, go to this real quick. About this computer, that's Ubuntu help, but we'll go to about this computer. And this is a rather outdated Lenovo desktop with just four gigs of RAM, but just to show you that Ubuntu Mate should be fine for all spec machines, low spec, mid spec, or high spec. It runs pretty good in my full install test. The user guide, definitely take a look at that. If you are new to this, I showed you how to right click. Let's go to this real quick here. All, accessories, of course we're using the plank, administration. I did install the Synaptic Package Manager. I like that as far as installing software. Probably not for total newbies, but not that difficult to learn. The Software Boutique is where you would go to install software. Again, this is self-explanatory. It's by categories, accessories, education, games, graphics, and so on. We'll go to internet. And the rather secure, or rather insecure, Adobe Flash Player. Anyway, Brave is a great, great browser, fast. Just scroll down here again. This is self-explanatory. So if I wanted to install something like Google Chrome, click install and go there and apply changes. I'll just clear that for now. Let's move along. So let's see, internet. I did install Chromium and Opera. Office, LibreOffice, of course, the usual preferences. And let's try startup applications. If you wanted to speed up the process of booting or starting your system, you can remove some of these startup apps, but I'll just leave this the way it is. And system tools, we looked at the monitor. Let's go to the control center. Again, self-explanatory. If I had to use one word to describe Ubuntu Mate, that one word has to be simple. Uh, of course, the Mate tweak tool. Go to the panel again, you have seven choices. I noticed with a couple of these, that it, it didn't look right. There was a few bugs. It didn't really break the system. Uh, I forget which ones it were, but for now, leave it the way it is. You can have the buttons to the left or to the right, the window control placement. 
and the window manager here at the bottom. Comp is be careful, it could break the system. I'll leave it the way it was, Marco. And that's it. Um, that's my quick look at Ubuntu Mate 17.10. It is my system of choice, my Linux gold standard, at least for beginners to the world of Linux. And it is a flagship Linux operating system. Again, about the only bad thing about this, only supported uh, for nine months. So if you have a spare machine, that's perfectly fine. Running this on a virtual machine seems okay. But if you were looking for long-term support, check out the Ubuntu Mate LTS releases. And the next one, I believe, next year will be an LTS release, multi-year support. That's it. This is my quick look. Check out Ubuntu Mate 1710. I will have a link for this below in the show notes. Subscribe if you haven't. Don't forget to support this Total OS Today technology channel. As always, enjoy your technology, but please don't text and drive, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.